to have touched down there. Uh, that number could go up today. It absolutely could. There are a lot of tornado reports that the Weather Service is then going to go out and uh, investigate some of that damage to see if it was indeed more. Uh, we did not have any severe weather locally yesterday, but there is the potential over the next 24 hours that here in the Miami Valley we'll see a stronger storm or two. Right now we do have rain falling. Nothing has been severe. It's just been some showers. We don't even have any lightning with any of the activity out there right now. And we're going to continue to see showers through the morning as we head into the afternoon. It will become less and less coverage, so there will be more breaks in the rain and even some breaks in the clouds where the sun peaks out a bit. So we could have some thunderstorms developing as that happens because it does get unstable with any sunshine. We'll push into the low 70s. So really, no matter what point you go today, you'll want to check out Live Doppler 2 HD radar to see where the rain is. Take along an umbrella. Probably a good idea for that uh, walk today. Rainfall total so far, we're already over three tenths of an inch in the Dayton area, four tenths down towards Cincinnati, and more rain to move in as we head through the day on Live Doppler 2 HD radar. You can see some of that rain in Springfield, Tremont City, over through Enon, a break in Fairborn. Dayton, Northridge, but Tip is seeing some rain and we have some decent areas of rain up across our northern counties. Sydney, Anna, some heavier rainfall here along 75 in northern Shelby County. Zooming out, we have low pressure to our southwest that will continue to lift up our way, keeping us active today. And then a cold front moves in tomorrow, so that will bring additional thunderstorms to the area. It's going to be an active week. And if you need to get some yard work done, you didn't get to it over the weekend, your best bet is going to be Wednesday afternoon. We should dry out and Thursday, maybe through the first part of the day. We do expect both of those days to have some showers around, but there will be dry time today and tomorrow look to be the two wettest days of the week. Future track shows the morning rain working through. It does become more hit and miss this afternoon, but we'll still have the potential for some spotty showers and storms even at five o'clock. It does look like this will wind down during the evening, but then overnight is when some stronger storms will be possible. Some of these may produce stronger winds and even some hail. The strongest of them look to stay south of Dayton, but we can't rule out some of them clipping our area. So there is a severe weather threat tonight into tomorrow morning. Those will move out by lunchtime tomorrow, but then in the afternoon additional thunderstorms roll in. So really a couple of unsettled days to get through here as we start the week. Today up to 73, breezy, mild, scattered showers and thunderstorms likely. We'll still have some thunderstorms overnight, dropping to 64 and tomorrow a lot like today. Showers, thunderstorms at times with highs near 73 degrees. On Wednesday, it's really just morning showers. The afternoon looks dry, but we are going to be a lot cooler. A high of just 60, 58 Thursday, and then 60 again Friday. Very slight rain chances Thursday, Friday. Now look at those morning lows. We do get down close to 40 degrees. Outlying areas may even hit the upper 30s. And then over the weekend, we'll start to warm up again.